80 tons of sea snakes are removed from the Gulf of Thailand and shipped domestically and internationally to be eaten. These are highly venomous snakes and they end up in soups, in drinks, or they can end up as a traditional medicine. The story how these sea snakes are caught is actually very fascinating. Squid fishermen during a 20-day dark night hunting go out to look for squid. But at the same time, sea snakes are also come to the surface and those are caught as a valuable bycatch. The sea snakes trade up to $20 per pound. The sea snakes are taken to a sorting facility where they are sorted based on their weight. It's shocking to see that the sea snake traders actually step into a pool of highly venomous snakes, barefooted and barehanded. In the course of our study, there were two deaths from sea snake bites. Sea snake venom affects the nerves and the muscles and the kidney. There is no anti-venom for sea snake bites in Vietnam. So here, people bitten by sea snakes are relying on garlic and rhinoceros horn. So imagine the sea snake harvest in Asia is contributing to the rhinoceros poaching in Africa. The traders, they just can hope for the best because the rhinoceros horn will not save their lives. Sea snakes are not protected in Vietnam or by international treaties. A quarter million snakes are eaten up every year for more than a decade without any notice from the outside world. And we do not know actually what's the true effect and magnitude of the damage that the sea snake harvest may have on the ecosystem of the Gulf of Thailand. Snake venoms are one of the most successful source of medications for heart attack, for high blood pressure, for heart failure. We know practically nothing on the venom of the sea snakes. It's safe to say we do not know what we are eating away.